right. I am pretty sure we are live. So, today is day four. I think I missed or I switched up the days yesterday, but today is day four for sure, sure. And I started briefly talking about this topic yesterday, but I really want to <laughs> dissect this topic because it happens a lot, especially on social media platforms. And it has to do with other people's opinions. So a lot of time, I think on the day one, we talked about cancel culture and we talked about hate comments. And yesterday, um, there were people who were leaving comments on my videos and, you know, there were other people who were tuning in live and they were listening to and contributing to the conversation about how everybody has something to say, right? And so it really kind of got me a little fired up yesterday and I really wanted to talk about that today because that was just, it was like an immediate, like, oh my gosh, I have to talk about it, you know? So today's topic is other people's opinions. And there are a couple of things I want to touch on because there are always going to be people who want to tear you down. There's always going to be people who want to say something to make you stop. And there's always going to be people who have to put their two cents in, right? And really... There are a lot of things that I've learned out of it, especially after going viral on my first, well, technically it was my second account, my second TikTok account. And first things first, <laughs> block them, okay? Like, just block them. I know, like, trust me, I am the type of person too. Like, I'm going to be like, who do you think you are? And like, kind of put that in the comments too. But it's really not worth the energy. It's not worth the effort. It's not worth that focus. You really want to keep your focus. You want to keep your energy and you want to stay in a good spot and stay in a good place. So really, like, it's not worth the energy. Just block that person and then just, like, let it go. But the other thing that I wanted to touch on here is that you get to choose your reaction or your response. And there's a difference because when you're, react when you're reactive, then it's, like, an immediate response. You're, well, an immediate reaction, right? Like, you're going to a place of anger or frustration or, you know, like jealousy or who do you think you are and that reaction is going to say a lot about who you are which is why there's a difference between a reaction and a response okay thank you I really appreciate that um look like like cash I'm I hope I'm saying that right thank you so much I appreciate that um when you respond, you take a little bit more time to think through, okay, well, how do I want to actually move forward with what I have to say or what I'm going to do, right? Do I want to appear as the bigger person? Do I want to take the high road or do I want to be reactive and stoop down to the, to the same level as this person, right? Those are things that you want to really consider because those people are going to come. They, they will come out of the woodworks and they will tear you down. They're trolls, right? Like <laughs> there is even a name about them for the, like on the internet, but they, that is their intention. They want to get a rise out of you. They want to get you started and it's just not, it's not worth your energy. It really isn't. So you get to choose how you are going to respond or react and that's, that's your choice, right? you get to appear as somebody who's thought through something or you get to appear as somebody who's just going to like tear other people down too. How do you want to appear? So when other people do comment on your videos, are you going to step forward with appreciation or are you going to be like, oh, well, I guess I'm missing that too. Thanks so much for pointing it out. Bye. I really didn't want to know. Like you get to choose which way you're going to go. The second thing that I wanted to touch on is the, that other person's reaction, okay? Like, in their initial reaction, they are going to... Can you tell my friend Jackson happy birthday? Sure, happy birthday. I hope he's watching. Um, <laughs> their reaction, their comment is going to be more telling about who they are as a person than yourself. It's kind of like a mirror, right? Like when you say something, it's a reflection of you or like when you react or when you respond to something, it's a reflection of you. So consider that that person 
it's whatever they're saying that's a reflection of themselves it's nothing to do about you it is everything to do about them all right they project we need to keep our peace that's right like they're they're essentially when they say something like that they are projecting that onto you that is their mindset that they are projecting onto you because your mindset is in a different place you're showing up you're putting content out there you're taking a very brave step forward and they want to bring you down that is their intention a hundred percent they are projecting that they are not if you odds are 10 times nine times out of 10 if you were to go to that person's profile who said any hate comment or any negative thing they probably don't have any videos published nine times out of ten because that's just how it is um what would you do if i cut your earbuds and handed you airpod pros um i would appreciate that for sure um because these wires are annoying as hell but um I, I don't know what I would do. Like, it's a great question. I'd have to really think about it. I'm like so in the zone right now. Um, that's the last thing that I'm thinking of, but it's a great question. I would probably, um, well, if you cut my earbuds, I wouldn't be able to use them, right? And then I would have to use the AirPod Pros. So that's probably what I would do. I would use them, right? Like, logically, that's, that's what would happen. That would be the sequence of events. Um, so back to the whole topic here their reaction their comment their words are one that is reflecting what they are feeling what they are thinking and it's more telling about who they are as a person than who you are as a person okay the last thing that I want to touch on here is um, successful people would rather fail than concern themselves with other people's opinions and so I thought about this last night and I actually talked about it with um, Tommy and a couple other people and I thought of Tony Robbins if you know who Tony Robbins is let me know down in the comments be like yeah of course I know Tony Robbins or maybe maybe you don't know Tony Robbins I know a couple of people who don't know anything about Tony Robbins at all they're like I've never heard of this guy ever in my life who is he if you do let me know so then that way when I'm explaining this example it doesn't seem so completely like far-fetched but I thought of Tony Robbins last night and I was like Tony Robbins is a really successful guy right like he has tons of books published he has so many people's lives who's he who he has impacted and he continues to do a lot of work online remotely in person at speaking events even now right so Tony Robbins didn't always have the life that he has now. He started, and I remember him saying this when, you know, I was on a couple of his webinars and master classes in the past. He said that his first speaking engagement had like seven people, like seven people showed up. The rest of the room was empty. And then 10 people showed up after that first one, right? And the second one, 10 people showed up. But he constantly kept going. He was always moving forward. And he probably heard tons of people say, you're not going to make it or you're doing it wrong or you're like, you, I can save you a bunch of time. Not once ever has Tony Robbins in any of the master classes or any of the webinars that I've attended of his, not once ever has he said, let me save you some time. He wants you to go do whatever it is that you want to go pursue. He doesn't say, let me save you, let me save you a bunch of time. Don't do that. He doesn't discourage you from doing whatever you are looking to do as a business owner, as a coach, as a, um, a life coach, as whatever it is that you're looking to learn from him, right? Like he is always encouraging you to take the action forward, to talk to other people to get involved in something he's never once said that i have heard of let me save you some time because why would he he's failed so many times he is 
failed. Okay. Quote unquote failed seven people, 10 people is still success. Think about it. Like the fact that there are six people here right now, I am super grateful, but that is huge because six people wouldn't have been on my live a year ago. That's a huge step. So he is always thinking about how he's had all of these failures, right? And they have led him to becoming the success that he is. They have led him to where he is now. Because if he didn't go through every single one of those failures, he wouldn't have learned a lesson. He wouldn't have taken something with him. Like how he should have talked to maybe a different person. Or you know, maybe he should have put his money in a different place with some sort of investment. Or maybe he should have gone with you know, TV ads instead of radio ads back in the day. Right? There would have been no way for him to learn if he didn't make the mistake. We humans, this is the coolest part about humans, we learn by fucking up. (laughs) We actually learn because we have failed. So instead of letting other people tell you you're failing or you're doing this wrong or I can save you a bunch of time or you're not going to do this or you can't do that. Stay in your own lane, okay? Stay in your own lane because the fact that they're concerned with your lane is, again, more telling about them than it is about you. And same thing. I get people telling me in my comment section all the time, nothing's going to change if you go live on TikTok for 365 days. Nothing's going to change. Money is still going to be a concern. It probably still will be. You're probably right. But it's going to be a different concern in the future than it is now. I guarantee you. I guarantee it. Because I am not showing up and being like... I'm not telling anybody that you can't do anything. I am giving you free information. I am providing everything freely to you right now. I literally write it down in my bullet journal. And I'm like... Yep, this is what we're going to talk about today. This is the value that I'm going to drop today. This is the other days, right? Like, I'm showing up and providing you everything that I possibly can in this time frame. Hello. It's 30 minutes. You know that we're here for 30 minutes. And that's, that is my intention. I am here for you for 30 minutes every day for a full year. And I'm doing it because... It's something different than what I have been doing for such a long time. And it's going to keep me accountable and it's going to help you and it's going to impact you in ways that you might not have ever been impacted before. So if you have any questions so far about what to do if other people comment on your videos or what to do if there's like hate or cancel culture or if people say something toxic to you, drop it down below in the comments. I will definitely answer your questions because a lot of the time, the reason why people don't create content is like purely because of that, purely because of other people. And really, it's just a matter of being like, well, that other person, I'm going to go after what I dream of. My dreams are valid. My dreams are worth it. I'm going to go after it. And it also reminds me now that I'm thinking about it. Um, one of the crew coaches, because I row crew, I think I said this yesterday on my live. One of the crew coaches in the area, he is very quiet when it comes to other people. Hello. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I can get you on here. I don't. So yesterday, the body shop, I know you just commented down below. You added, you, she invited me onto her live. And I, like, could not find the video button for the life of me. And today, I'm scrolling on my buttons on my phone to figure out how to get you up here. And, you know, for me being as young as I am, you'd think that I'd be more technologically savvy. But I'm just, I'm, I have no idea how to do any of these things. Mostly because I've never done it before. I know that we're friends. Oh, this is, this is, this is, I said, hey, this is a, this is a mess. 
Sorry. I want to I wanna eventually start to invite people, but I have to, like, actually go onto YouTube and learn how to invite people. But I want to definitely get back into um, what I was saying about the one crew coach in my area. He is purely concerned with his own team. He's purely concerned with how they're performing. He does not care really about any other coach in the area. He doesn't care about any other team unless they start to pose a threat to his team, right? And it's, it makes sense because he he's won plenty of national titles. He's won, I don't know how many Stotesbury Cups for certain boats that he coaches in the varsity level. Yet all of the other coaches talk about him, right? They're talking about him. He doesn't know it because they're talking behind his back, but he doesn't talk about anybody else. And he doesn't care what anybody else is saying about him because all he cares about is that he takes his team to the level that he sees that they can achieve. He, he All he cares about is that the people he is coaching reaches the potential that they can reach under his coaching. And every year... They go to nationals and they win every year. There has not been a year in the last five years, except for 2020, because 2020 was COVID, that they did not go to nationals. They did not win some sort of plaque, some sort of medal, some sort of trophy or cup. And it makes sense because if you really think about it, he is purely concerned with only how well they are doing and only how far they are going to get. He doesn't concern himself with what anybody else is saying. Stay in your lane. When you stay in your lane, you focus on what you're doing and you're, you're not bombarded with other people's opinions. Unless you ask for other people's opinions. If you're asking for other people's opinions, they're going to give you their opinions. Everybody's got an opinion. It's like an asshole, right? Everybody's got one. So that was today's topic, mostly because there are so many people who have something to say about going live every day and how it's not going to help and how you're still going to have to worry and how it's not going to make you any better than what you were doing four days ago, which after doing this for four days, I could tell you that's not true. I've connected with so many people. I've connected with so many amazing women and I'm getting messages on my Instagram now. You know, you have no idea what's going to happen. You never know what doors are going to open because you are doing something and you're challenging the norm. People can reach out to you. You could start new relationships. You could strike a friendship that you never would have known would have happened if you didn't go out and do something. I just posted a video with the words like you suggested. That's awesome. I'm going to have to check it out. I'm going to follow you quick so that I could go see it later. But realize that if you don't, if you don't try to do something different and change, nothing is ever going to change. It's always going to be the same. So don't let other people let like make you stay the same if you want to change you can change if you're going to listen to other people and let them tell you about how nothing's going to change then nothing will change because you're not going after that change all right so it is 319 um if you have any questions drop them down in the comments really quick um i haven't seen any questions come through I've seen a lot of highs. How are you doing? What would you do if I gave you earbuds? I haven't seen any questions come through. So I'll give it another couple of minutes, like literally two minutes. So that would mean 321. If you have any questions, drop them down below and I will answer them. If not, then I'm going to wrap today's live up. It'll be a little bit shorter, but tomorrow we're going to be going live again. We might not be going at 3 p.m. Eastern because truth be told, Penelope was up from 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. this morning. So it's a little difficult right now to like exist. You might be able to see the, oh, they don't really look that bad. The circles under my eyes, but I do have 
this one's puffy. Um, so I do have to give myself a little bit of grace because she is asleep and I could totally be taking a nap right now. Um, so it might not be 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow on the dot, but it might be around 3. So it might be 2.30 Eastern or it might be 3.30 Eastern, all right? Um, so that's the first thing I'm going to say. The second thing that I'm going to say before I wrap things up here is that I have been talking about how something, one of these topics relates to content in some way, shape, or form over the past couple of days. But in, what's today, the 5th? I think it's the 5th. In 12 days, I'm going to be going on to a masterclass. I'm hosting a masterclass called Presence, and I'm going to be talking about how to enhance your video presence on social media. I'm also going to be covering the best ways that you can start to show up to have a more powerful video presence, social media presence, content presence in not just any of those areas, but also your business, your life. If you have a business, life is pretty, everybody has a life, I think. So it's pretty applicable there. Uh, but we're going to be covering those two topics as well as something that a lot of people aren't talking about in terms of the wealth and money space as well. This unspoken money principle is what I'm calling it because I haven't heard any coach talk about it. I haven't heard anybody online talk about it really. I've heard maybe one person say it, but it wasn't anything that was expanded upon from there. So I want to take the time on the 17th to expand upon it. So that masterclass is going to be Wednesday, August 17th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link is in my bio. If you go over to my TikTok page and you click on the link, it's going to be the first or the second one there. It says presence. You can grab the link, toss it into your calendar because I don't have the invite capacity from the link in my bio. So going to have to figure that one out for the next time that I host a masterclass, but I want to definitely make sure that I let you know that that is also coming. If you are interested in seeing any of the prior lives, as in like day one, day two, day three, you can check out all of the prior live streams that I've hosted on my YouTube. The YouTube link is in the link in my bio, and you can go check out the topics that I've covered over the past couple of days over on YouTube. Hey, what's going on? Um, I was just telling everybody, if you've missed any of the couple of the lives that I've hosted over the last few days that you could go check out my YouTube. The first two days are up there. Day three, I needed to wait. TikTok does this thing. If you go live, you can download the video. It's really cool. You go into the live center on your profile and you download the video. Um, however, it takes 60 minutes, sometimes depending on how long your live stream is, for you to get the link to download the live stream so i have to download day three but day one and day two are up on my youtube and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube be sure to subscribe to my youtube i'll be doing more long form videos over there as well last thing last thing today's live stream is probably gonna be posted tomorrow just due to i don't know when the downloadable link is going to be available um is it the same handle for youtube it's not the real Fallon Moran. If you do, if you just type in Fallon Moran on YouTube, then it'll pop up. So you could do Fallon Moran or you could do Fallon Carey and they will pop up. The link is in my bio as well. So you could just like literally like just boop, just like tap my name and then it'll take you to my TikTok page and then you could just go to the YouTube from the TikTok page. Um, so that is everything for today. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to learn how to invite people so that I can have a live stream with others. And I mean, this has, hold on. Yeah, absolutely. This is a, so like you can have these, okay, I guess they only come up when certain people come in. I don't know. It looks like you can invite people as they're coming in, but I could not invite someone earlier. So I'm just trying to understand. 
I just have to understand it. Give me a day to understand how to invite people on to TikTok Live, and then I will absolutely be inviting viewers on as the days progress because then it could be a collaboration back and forth and it's not going to be just me presenting a topic to you. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love to have you. Let me know. Um, I know that uh, Monica and I are connected. If you haven't connected, Again, you'd think that as a child, I'm not really a child, but I am 28. You'd think that at 28, I'd understand these settings, but I just, I need to like, I need to do it first. <laughs> like I need to like see somebody be like, this is where you have to poke on the screen. And then I'll be like, oh, okay, I know where to tap now. So I'm going to wrap things up. Definitely be sure to check out the last couple days on YouTube. If you are also doing this challenge, I am going to stay on TikTok for a little while and I'm going to check and see if you are going to go live. I'll pop into your lives and I'll be here to support you. That is what I'm doing. I want to support you and I'm really excited for the next 361 days. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna figure it I'm gonna figure out all of the things tonight and then tomorrow. <laughs>